All right, so just bought a chess freezer from Walmart. Uh, we had one. We had the upright one. It's like three cubic feet, but it's kind of small. So I need something bigger, and I'm just gonna give the three cubic feet to a family member. So I found this on sale on Walmart. It's a five cubic feet chest freezer. Uh, it's like 142 before, a like couple months ago, like 168, you know. There's also a seven cubic feet for like 159, but we don't have the space, so five cubic feet is fine. Uh, normally the uh, complaint with uh, this is there's some damages. So I don't know if there's any damages, but... Oh. People are complaining about this uh, chest. Oh, got static shock. Shock. Okay. Oh, looks like particle bore. I guess you could use this for something useful. So you got a particle bore on top. Styrofoam. I'm getting shocked from this. Uh, right, electrical core here. Let's turn over to this size. No, it's in perfect. Looks, looks like it's in perfect conditions. I don't see any dent or anything. Yeah, I don't see any dent or anything. Oh, look at this. Energy guy. Oh, crap. He used $30 per year. So I guess seeing this model is not Energy Star certified, but thing is uh, the upright three cubic feet that I'm using, it used $29 a year. This one is five cubic feet. So it's almost twice the size, but it's only used a dollar more. I think it's also because of the uh, way that the, the chest freezer designs, also with physics, cold air usually stay down the bottom so when you open the top, unlike the uh, upright freezer, when you open it, and then all the cold air will be leaking out. But this one, the cold air will stay down at the bottom when you open it. Yeah, this would be perfect. I mean, because of the... Uh, I think it should lower down. So I have no problem reaching in, getting it. Got a tray here for some stuff that you need to get out. The one you don't. Yeah, this is, this is perfect. I don't see any damage or anything at all. So, yep. This is the model. Uh, five cubic feet capacity, chest freezer, 30 bucks. And it says right here, even though on the um, website it didn't list anything at all, but here it stated that. Uh, Garage ready if you want to put it in the garage, but I think it's just kind of dumb putting it in the garage. It says right here garage ready, uh, garage ready model maintains stable and consistent temperature under extreme temperatures from 0 to 110 degrees. This is Arizona, it's getting like 120 degrees outside. Inside the garage is probably 160, so I would not put this chest freezer in the garage look at the temperature range 0 to 110 110 outside 118 right now for Arizona in the garage it's probably 180 
no, no, it's more probably 140, 160 or something. So, well, anyway, down here at the bottom, I have no idea what this is. I probably have to look at the manual, like a drain flux or something. I don't know. So I guess this is here where you can set the temperature. It looks like it's automatically set at four. For me, I think probably one is fine because one is freezing. Zero is off, I assume. One. So it's automatically set at four. But to be honest, you, you don't need four at this. The uh, three cubic uh, foot, the three cubic feet uh, freezer that we got. I set it down like the minimum and it just keep everything frozen just fine. It also eliminates the uh, build up of uh, all the icing as well. So you don't need to keep it too cold. Just enough to be fine. I think according to the instruction, usually when you have a new freezer, you have to keep it upright. If they like tilt it when transport, you have to actually keep it upright for 24 hours before plugging it in and then after plugging it in you have to leave it for a couple hours pretty much leave the freezer empty for the first couple hours before starting adding food Not sure. <coughs> yeah looks like the gap everything's in place yep it's perfect condition no dent no nothing at all like what some of the review said I don't feel, I don't see anything, so. $142 on Walmart. I think it's like, I think it's been cheaper than the one at Sam's Club. Sam's Club are like 160 for five cubic feet. Hmm. Yeah, so that's two model. There's a five cubic and then a, five, a seven cubic. I think the seven cubic feet is sold out. It's I don't read the seven cubic. It's uh, too big for my house. So it's right here. The compressor is running. This noise emitting about 42 decibel. Less than, less or equal to 42 decibel. Refrigerant they're using is R600. A. Okay. The weight in box weight is 32. Out of the box is 24. So this thing is 24.5 pounds out of the box. With the box is 32. So it's lighter. See here at product width is 25.08. Product depth is 21.89. The height is 33.31. So if I remove this little part right here, I should lower it down. I think it should, most people should able to reach in just fine. I mean, 5'2", five 5'3", five people should have no problem reaching down the bottom, getting them. Let's see, temperature range. So this machine will keep the temperature range between 10.4 Fahrenheit to 11.2 Fahrenheit. Yeah, so even in the manual it's a garage ready, uh, but only for temperature between 0 and 110. So if you live in Arizona during the summer, that is dumb putting it in. So you got some troubleshooting here. Say, so give you proper freezer care and cleaning. Let me see. Frozen food. I give you estimate how many oh wow so sticks you could put you could keep it in here for six to twelve months chicken and turkey chicken or turkey whole one year oh, I didn't know that hamburger steak round beef chops three three to four months there's a manual defrost this is a food storage basket basket I think there's Amazon or eBay, they probably sell these two, I don't know, I have mine neat. It looks like I can fit another one, or maybe two can squeeze in. This way you can get grab it on top, you don't have to bend down. But they have like a little 
height up here so there's three levels apparently so I'm just sure. good just put the things you don't use down all the way there down at the bottom okay for operating your freezer once the freezer in proper place once once the freezer is in its proper place plug in electrical outlet having 115 volt and 15 amps okay and that's pretty much every electrical outlet here in the US set the, uh, set the temperature on the control knob to 1 being the warmest and 7 being the coldest 7 1 to 7 okay 7 1 is warmest okay 7 is coldest I keep the other freezer on 1 is fine so I don't need it to be coldest because I don't have to deal with all the ice and build up Okay, initial set the temperature, initially set the temperature on 4, place the food inside the freezer. After using the freezer for 24 hours, set the freezer to your design setting. Okay, so they wanted to set the temperature at 4 first, and put the food inside the freezer, and leave it for 24 hours, and then change it to whatever setting you desire. So for me, I had to leave it at 4, and then run it for a few hours, put the food in, leave it for 24 hours, and then I change it down to one. I don't need, it's so high. It's also save electricity too. I mean, if all the food are frozen, it's uh, one set, that's the setting number one. I don't need it all the way high, it's just waste of electricity. Okay, it says right here, in case you unplug your freezer or, ex or experience electrical outlet, allow five minutes before plugging it back in. Mm -hmm. Okay, it says right here, uh, for faster freezing capability, the first time you turn on a unit, turn the temperature control dial to on and run for at least two hours. And then turn it to four. Okay. And it says, it says right here, note if the freezer has been placed in a horizontal or tilted position for any period of time, wait 24 hours before plugging in the unit. I got, I had it deliver, I think a few days ago, I left it been, it's been sitting like this for two days, so I don't have to worry about that. But just in case, if they tilt the freezer or something, leave it standing up for 24 hours before plugging in. If you want a faster freezing capability for the first time, <clears throat> turn the unit on, turn the temperature control knob to on, and then run for at least two hours and then turn the dial to four and then I change it back after 24 hours. Okay, I think that's pretty basic. I mean, there's really, okay, let's see. Okay, number one, okay, so this is the drain plug, apparently, it says right here. And this is the power button. This is run, it means it's running. And it's number three, so this is the compressor on indicator. It's when the compressor is on, it's repeat, green light. And two, the control knob. Four is the power indicator. And five is the vinyl coated steel wire removable storage pack basket. So this one. That's. Yeah, that's pretty much it. But, no. Got the power cable. Thirty dollars. So, all right. So far, so good. No debt, no damage. All right. If you're interested, uh, I checked the website before. This freezer is still available as of this video. Uh, I believe the seven cubic feet is sold out though. So you want to get uh, check the website? Maybe they restocked it. I don't know. But the five cubic feet, uh, as of right now, is still available. Okay. This is Frigidaire. Chest freezer, five cubic feet. This is the model number if you need it. It's uh, so EFRF5003 6COM. Just type in Frigid Air, uh, it's five cubic feet chest freezer. Should pull up. Energy Guide, $30 a year. It's not, I don't see an Energy Star logo here, so it's not Energy Star certified. But like I said, I have a three cubic feet. A fry freezer. I think I already have the videos on my channel as well. You can look at it. It's $29 per year. 
and it's for three cubic feet. This one is five cubic feet. So it's almost twice the size. But it's only use a dollar more. So it's up to you. I know there's a lot of review complaining about me having dents and all that, but as you could see, there's no damage on my unit. So I guess it's depend because also I live in a house. They don't have to carry all the crap up like if you live in an apartment or something. So the other review might be better that they live in apartments like ties. If there's only one delivery person and have to carry this, this thing, it's, it's big and it's bulky, so they might dent it. I don't know, but it looks perfect to me. Okay? If you have a question, just post it. I'll reply when I can. All right, thanks.